guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the highly requested baby products I regret buying, but I'm also gonna throw in a few items that we really love that are kind of like hot topic items and I will throw those in at the end. But first, we're gonna talk about the baby products we just didn't really use, and I was a little nervous to film this video just because every baby and every parent is so different, and what we love and what we don't like is so different, and I didn't wanna like offend anyone. I don't, I don't like, I don't know. I'm so weird about offending anyone. But you guys really wanted to see this, so I'm filming it, and I'm not saying that I hate the items that I'm gonna talk about today, they're just products we just really didn't use. So yeah, let's get into them. So the first item that we didn't really use were the swaddling blankets. We got so many of these from friends and family. I think we have like 15, 20 of these muslin swaddling blankets and we haven't used them once for the purpose that they're for. I've used them to keep him warm, I've used them out and about like running errands or just to like lay out on the ground so we can have tummy time, but we've never used them for actually swaddling him. The only time we used like the swaddling technique with a blanket was in the hospital when he was first born and that's what the hospital provided, but even then he broke out of them and I never felt like I did it right or that it felt tight enough or anything like that. So. Right when he got home from the hospital, we put him in his Halo sleep sacks, and I love those things so much. He never broke out of them. They're so easy to use. It has like a zipper closure and some Velcro, and the one thing I will say about these is to not wash them or dry them with other items of baby because the Velcro can snag everything, especially that soft, beautiful muslin material that we all love. So just be careful with that, be mindful of that. We would just um, air dry them. But other than that, they were so easy to use and we just never used the blankets for their actual purpose. Another product that we did not use were the Wee Blocks or you know the PPTPs or whatnot. Everyone kept telling me, your baby's gonna pee on you so many times because it's a boy. Honestly, Jackson's only peed on me maybe one to two times and that was in the first 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 months of him being born and i think he's only peed on matt like one maybe two times it was more of a hassle trying to get the wee block on top of him and hold it there as you're trying to do everything else if you're just quick about taking off the diaper cleaning putting on the next diaper you're most likely not going to get peed on so that was just like an extra step that was more of a hassle than any good so yeah Another product that I did not use was the Boppy Nursing Pillow. I thought that I was gonna get use out of it and I got this really cute cover for it and I just didn't use it. It was more of a hassle just to get all set up and create a station where I was gonna nurse Jackson that I just never used it. When he was hungry, it was just time to feed. Like he was upset, he wanted to eat and I didn't have time to go find the nursing pillow, put it around me, put him on top of it. When he was hungry, I just, whip the boob out and put him on the boob. That's really all I've been doing since he's been born. I probably used that thing like maybe a handful of times. We did use it in the beginning for a little bit of propping him up. There are other uses for it, but we just, we just didn't really use it that much. Another product that I didn't use, I think I used it one time, was the Lily Baby like cloth wrap. That thing was so freaking confusing. I wore it one time and I honestly felt really hot and sweaty and, and Jackson was sweating and it just seemed more complicated to put on than anything useful, I guess. So I only used it one time and it's so pretty and I see all these moms use it and I was like, I wanna do that, but I just never did. I honestly just use his other Lily Baby like six way carrier and I love that. It's very breathable, there's great back support and I just feel like he's more secure in it. So I used that from Lily Baby, but I do not use the long cloth wrap. Another product that we did not use was the bottle warmer and I got a lot of people saying you're not going to use this, my family said you're not going to use this and we ended up not using it. I don't know if it was the brand that we bought but it didn't really have directions on it and it didn't have a timer, you had to use another timer for it. I just thought it was going to be easy like set the time, warm the bottle, that was it. But yeah, the directions on the actual product weren't very like helpful. 
they didn't really explain much they were just like little symbols and I wasn't really sure what it was and I didn't want to pull out the manual every time we warm up this bottle the old-fashioned way in like a warm bowl of water and then like test it on my wrist and that's it again like when your baby's hungry they just want to eat I do breastfeed but sometimes if I've had like maybe two glasses of wine and I want to bottle feed him that's when we would use a bottle warmer or if someone's babysitting and even they found it easier to just warm the bottle up in like the sink or in a warm bowl of water so yeah you guys were right I should have listened I just thought it was gonna make our life easier the last item that I want to talk about is something that we still use but it's not very convenient and I think everyone talks about these in these videos but it is the coveralls with the snap closures there are like a zillion snaps on those things and it takes forever to snap it closed I love the zipper coveralls it's so freaking easy but yeah we have so many snap coveralls that we've either purchased or we've been given as hand-me-downs for him but dang those things take a long time when your baby's squirming and just over it I honestly sweat and I get anxious because I'm just trying to hurry up and do it sometimes dressing a baby is like hard work <laughs> And Matt is so freaking good at it. I've said this before, but he's way better at getting Jackson dressed than I am. He's so quick about it. I don't know what takes me so long. So now that we have those products out of the way, I'm going to talk about the products that I do really like, that I get a lot of questions on, or are kind of hot topics in the mom universe. So the first product is Sophie the Giraffe. Jackson loves this thing so much he's always chewing on her and sucking on her and squeaking on her that all sounds very strange there's a reason why she's so popular in the mom world and with babies because they really do love her well I know Jackson does and I had always wanted to get a Sophie for my baby for years and years and years and years before I was even thinking about getting pregnant because giraffes are my favorite animal and I was like that is a must-have item when I have a baby so I really like her and I know a couple years ago people were coming out talking about mold being in their Sophie like they I think they cut her open and saw that there was mold growing inside I just think if you take care of her and you obviously don't like submerge her in water or do anything that would cause that to happen or maybe just replace her every couple who knows like just just be smart about it then I think she's fine I don't have an issue with it the next item that I want to talk about is the docket hot and we got a lot of use out of it more than I thought we would because we didn't co-sleep but we used it a lot and we still do kind of use it which I will explain but when Jackson was really young couldn't roll over move around a lot we would just plop him in that thing wherever we were whether we were on the couch or even if I was taking a bath or a shower I would lay him down on the floor where I could see him and he would just lay there and just chill we've taken it with us in the very few times that we've traveled it was just super convenient now the next reason why I love the doc tot is because when we transitioned Jackson from his bassinet into his own room we put the doc tot in his crib and I know doc tot says not to do that I know so many people Say, you can't do that you can't do that but we did it I know a lot of moms who did that and it honestly made the transition from his bassinet to his own room that much easier he already slept really well away from me which honestly made me very sad but having the dock -a tot really helped even more the crib was so darn big he looked so tiny in it I just don't feel like he felt secure in the crib like nice and cozy so putting the docket in there, he slept so well, so well. Now the reason we don't use the docket in the crib anymore was because one time I was watching him on the monitor while he was napping and he rolled out of it and was like all over the place in the crib. So I was like, all right, it's time for the docket to go. And now he sleeps just fine without it, but I really think the docket helped him transition into the crib. So. Don't kill me because I use the Doc Tot in the crib. Even though we don't use it anymore for nighttime, we still do use it when he's being babysat outside of our home, which is rare. I much rather prefer our babysitters to come here so he can stay on routine and sleep in his own crib. And by babysitters, I mean grandparents or aunts. But typically they do come here, which is awesome, and he can just nap in his crib. But if he does have to go to their house for any reason, 
we do give them the Dokkatot so we can nap in it, monitored obviously, or if it's a really late night, they can lay him in the Dokkatot in bed with them until we can get to him to pick him up. So we still do use it. He still loves it. I love it. I know that is a product that I get a lot of questions on and a lot of people just kind of debate on and probably you're gonna come after me for using it in the crib. <laughs> Jackson is here with me to close out the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Say goodbye!